Welcome guys to my first Let's Play for this channel. And if you haven't already seen, we're doing Beyond Good and Evil for the PS2, released in 2003 for the system. It's a Ubisoft game, and it's a fairly enjoyable one. Uh, I'm just going to do something really quickly. I'm going to turn on the subtitles, because I don't believe that the subtitles stay on between uh, uh, turning on and turning off the system. Other than that... Um, I'm just gonna I'm gonna be quiet for this cutscene and I'm gonna give you guys some details on how I'm gonna play this game. The war has arrived at the gates of Hillis. This peaceful mining planet in System 4 is now completely encircled by the Dom's Armada. General Keck, Supreme Commander of the Alpha Forces, would like to take this opportunity to address a final message to the population. Loyal Hillium. The impending battle will be a difficult one, but thanks to the Alpha Section... Jump up! Go tell Paige. I'll take care of the shield. So let's get into it. This game's gonna start out with the combat section for you guys. It's fairly epic. Placed alongside with a great musical score, I think. As you can see, the game's uh, combat is fairly simple and it's very uh, similar to the Legend of Zelda combat where you just get to press mash the one button to attack and for the most part you'll be okay. I would like to say that the uh, combat can get a little more um, complex if you choose to let it be. Uh, if the second strike in a combo, you will um, always, if you time it properly, the third strike can be let uh, become a, from a one hit attack to a three hit or four hit attack. So after some fairly epic slow motion, we got another quick cutscene. This one's a little quicker than, than the other one, but uh, I'll remain quiet. <laughs> Oh, 
Now holding the X button will do a charge attack and let you out of the, the cage and will stun the boss for you. Now there's a trick to uh, stun locking this boss. If you immediately charge the moment you can, uh, you can do what I do to the boss and just destroy it in one or two combos. If you time the X button, like I said, uh, in the last com uh, combat section. Now since it's a beginning boss, it, it looks big, but it's it's really just a simple do what the game tells you to do and you'll be finished with it uh, faster than uh, most of the bosses in this game. So after defeating that boss, um, we get the one of the main collectibles you'll be collecting throughout the journey of this game, a pearl. Use pearls to upgrade your character's hovercraft, which is the equivalent of Epona from the uh, Legend of Zelda series. We're going to be able to pay to get the hovercraft fixed with that. <laughs> hey, Secundo, scan this for me, will ya? Okay, Yeet. So now we get to say hi to another character, Segundo, our Spanish pocket. Why they made him Spanish, I would never know, even though Ubisoft is French. Needless to say, the cops do arrive, and, uh, of course, late, and we get a way out of this cave that's underneath the lighthouse. No thanks much. Okay, I'm gonna. There's another cup scene coming up right now. Here on Hillis, war has once again reared its ugly head, striking the civilian population. Luckily, our elite forces have once again arrived in the nick of time. I'm coming to you live from the Southern Lighthouse Shelter. Here is where some of the children whose parents have been captured by the Doms have been taken in by two devoted and courageous Hillians. Miss, a word for our listeners. Uh, yeah, okay. yeah, well you guys are not what I'd call as fast as a speeding bullet. Keep doing nothing, and next time, there'll be nothing left here to save. Cut! Hey, Pop, stay zen. Don't get your snout bent out of shape. All right, boys, that's a wrap. Pack it up! Thanks, Paige. If it wasn't for you, I... I... for every Vorax in the area. What a pessimisto. You faithful servant, Secundo, has found the answer to your money problemo. Secundo, we're stuck here. No hovercraft, no shield. Optima has cut off the power. The account is empty. Units, you want units? You come to Secundo, mia bella. Listen to this. The director, Senora from the Science Center, wants a collection of all the animals on the planet. She pay you dinero for any photo you send with little animal on it. Mira, that beast, for example. You take picture of it and tenga mucho units. Even your perro interests them. Not another one of your hair brain plans, Segundo. Gonna have to recheck your circuits. Who could possibly be interested in that kind of thing? We're in the middle of a war, son. You understand nada, bacon breath. Control of the species is mucho importante. Yet, you go get your camera back, and we'll see if Secundo has pepperoni on his processor. Ciao! Okay, so now we're going to be introduced to one of the main gameplay mechanics in this uh, game. The camera. 
Pressing the R1 will uh, bring up the camera and you have to take pictures uh, of animals in this game. As the cutscene gladly explained for me. It will get you money and will and with money uh, after eight pictures you get pearls of course. So that's one of the main reasons you want to uh, take eight pictures of animals to get upgrades for the camera and get upgrades for your hovercraft. It's very important that you do this. When you've reached of course, the pictures, first upgrade will be an optical zoom. Because as it is, we don't get much zoom, if any, on the uh, camera. So now we're going to be introduced to the healing item. This is called the Starkos. It's just basically a piece of bread. Uh, it will restore our hearts by one, and it's going to be our main healing object. For right now, at least. We've, there's a total of five of them in here, and... Uh, I would you would be tempted right now to restore your hearts uh, that you have you uh, if you missed one during the fight with the the doms but it's not necessary right now so this is something you don't want to do right away you might be tempted to uh, photo uh, photograph something else like the dog or the fly in the room but I'm going to suggest to you to actually photography these flying fish uh, that's mainly for the fact that you won't be able to do it till later in the game if you don't do it now. Vorax. And with that, you get a $500 bonus, and 350 of those dollars will be t uh, subtracted from your current total in order to pay off for the uh, electricity. Okay, so now that I have time to actually explain to you guys this world, this is the planet of Helios. Now, Helios is under attack by these aliens called the Doms, which we just fought, as you could see. Becoming very rare. Uh, with this big epidemic and problem going on, uh, we take the role of Jade, a phot uh, photographic journalist who seems to be down on luck and not getting enough money for the orphanage at the lighthouse. That being said, when she gets an opportunity to do something, she needs to do it for the kids. Even if it means photo uh, photographing seagulls. Seagulls, well done. Like the or other orphans in this uh, uh, house, this lighthouse, the Jade is also an orphan. Paige, as you saw him, the pig man, uh, will had brought up Jade from child childhood when her parents abandoned her. Now, that really again, I don't Jade. I don't know about you, but that really sets a connection between me and Jade. And as you'll see, I hope that you too will be able to um, through this these videos uh, grow a connection to Jade as well. Now with the setting and the story put in place, uh, I'm going to explain how I'm going to approach this let's play. What I'm going to do is I'm going to every part tackle either collection or another dungeon. Which is what I'm going to call them even though there aren't dungeons as, as they are layers of the, uh, the enemy. Now since this is a very Legend of Zelda-esque game, I'm going to be tackling this game with uh, dungeons in one video and collection in other videos. And if there's any other kind of uh, interruption, you know, like uh, talking around and getting missions, well then I'll have that as a third type of video. But as far as I know, there isn't any um, of that sort. So this is the equivalent of our heart tank right now. We just picked it up. It's called a PA-1. Uh, it'll increase our hearts by one and it automatically fills up all your hearts for you anyway you usually get them at the end of boss fights and uh, if you know where to look for them it's pretty easy to find like nine or ten before the second dungeon now I'm trying to get this box of K-bumps which is a full heal item from the dog 
And, uh, of course, naturally, the dog isn't gonna just give it up to you. He's gonna take it. Now, when you get back outside, the dog is going to be running around, and you have to catch it with the square button. It's pretty simple. Just run into it, and the dog will stop where he is and uh, roll over for you. And there you go. A box of K-bombs. It is a full heal item. And now I'm just messing around, seeing what I can do uh, before I go to do the mission. I turn off the power for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, it does, in fact, turn off the power, so don't... Uh, don't do it. Shield activated. Needless to say, I'm done in this area. I've gotten everything I really can for right now without having to come back with later abilities and uh, later items. I'm just going to go meet up with uh, Paige, Paige in his hangar and his workshop to get the M disc or the mission disc uh, from him. Now, an M disc is a lot like. Uh, the equivalent of a thumb drive or a travel drive. You pop it into the computer and you can listen to what's recorded on it. You can read it now and give me a chance to adjust this stupid decoder player. Now the uh you always have one uh M disc on you, and that's the save M disc. The one we're gonna be picking up right now is the uh, mission for our first dungeon telling us what we need to do in the dungeon because unlike nice Legend of Zelda uh, we aren't just entering the dungeon to uh, fix a problem we're entering a dungeon to actually uh, go about and do something for your employer I'm only going to so show you saving one time in this game it's pretty basic just Go up to an M-Desk reader, use the first of your uh, M-Discs, and save in whatever spot you feel. I have a practice file going on, so that's why I didn't save in the first one. I will remain quiet for the M-Disc that's about to be played. Hello, miss. I've been commissioned by Mr. DeCastellac. This war is a catastrophe for us all. Mr. DeCastellac would like to entrust a very delicate mission to you. If you accept, please make your way as soon as possible to the ancient mine on Black Isle located on the other side of town. Having completely understood the enormous risks involved, Mr. De Castellac plans to reward you generously. See you soon. You know this De Castellac guy? Huh? Uh, can't go there, Jane. Uh, smells like a trap. Uh, it's too dangerous. Are you loco? We need some dinero to protect us from those thinking dance. Don't you worry, Paige. Everything will be fine. If you want, I'll go alone. Uh, no, no. It's just... Okay, we'll go together. But I'm sticking to you like bees on honey, whether you like it or not. Scundo, check over this computer and download a complete version of your OS. You'll be able to take a look at it, Jade. As for me, I'll try to get that stupid hovercraft up and running. If you were paying attention to that cutscene, uh, you might have noticed that uh, Paige, he didn't have, some of his uh, dialogue actually didn't show up on the subtitles, which really confuses me in the fact that most games manage to include all their uh, dialogue, or at least for the most part, on the... Uh, subtitle screen. Something that I think they overlooked because I believe this game was in a rush to get out so they could make a profit. Uh, you'll notice that throughout the game that you'll uh, you'll see all sorts of little mistakes like that. Uh, right now we have the map right here and it's a pretty simple map. Just You can zoom, you can look around with it and you can see what's what's up in the areas. Here we also have a boost uh, boost will triple our speed for the hovercraft. You're going to need them for certain parts of the game, uh, but for the most part, uh, the hovercraft moves fast enough you don't need to use them for mainly travel. We also have a repair kit for when we need to uh, repair the damages that we suffer during, say, a fight or a, a race. Because there are races in this game. Oh, there are a lot of them. 
As I was saying, um, the subtitles are messed up a bit. Uh, sometimes French, it's completely in French. Even though, um, I know that, uh, Segundo is Hispanic because of how he, how he speaks, how he, uh, reacts. Uh, and the fact he has horrible, horrible Spanish. He, um, sometimes French words will be in the subtitles when he clearly said something in English or he said something in Spanish. So now we get introduced to our equivalent of the Hyrule Fields, the Hylias. Oh this is the main area, an area we'll be traveling a, a lot around in. Uh, for right now, I'm going to show you what it's like because it is a fairly beautiful area, a fairly beautiful background. And I'm going to introduce you to the hovercraft. It shoots, it has a compass, it has a first person mode, and you can even shoot in that first person mode, even though it's all just. It's just there. So now we're heading off to Mama Go's garage. I love this place. It's it's just awesome. It has Jamaican rhinoceroses. And you just can't get better. Uh, also has one of the, the catchiest well, tunes in this it. next section that we're going to uh, watch with the tow truck. And the garage is only 300 meters away. Mama Go Garage, you know. Where your mama won't go, you know. The mama go garage. And so, hey man, what seems to be the problem? I'll go ahead and tow you to the mama go garage. Mama go! Hey, it works! Yeah, works to sucker in the client, all right. I always thought that Jade was freaking retarded for saying, Oh, the tow truck works. Well, of course it's going to work. They wouldn't be using it if it didn't work. But that's beside the point. Uh, here's the Renaces, uh we were talking about. As you can see, they are clearly Jamaican. Uh, you, if you read their text, uh, it's just stereotypical uh, Jamaican text. So you know those pearls we've been um, picking up? This is where we spend them. I said that we use them to upgrade our hovercraft, which is the equivalent of our Epona, to get things such as a bigger cannon, uh, jumping abilities, a working engine. And, and, and it, uh, if you are willing to collect all of the uh, pearls, you can get some pretty re ridiculous stuff, I believe, the at the end. Is coming along. Thanks again. You're gonna want to take a picture of this guy. He's another three hundred dollars okay. in the bag, the and finished. it's your first roll of film Bravo, finished if you uh, photographed everything on the and lighthouse. Your film. So now you have your zoom, which is just it makes the game a whole bunch easier when it comes down to photography. There's another save right there, and since we only have one pearl, it's the only thing we can buy with the one pearl is the working engine. Sold. And more stereotypical Jamaican people, rhinoceroses, things, rhinoceros sapiens. So now we have a, a boost. Well, they don't have so much of a boost, but we have a faster way of getting around. It's pretty much uh, a running function, except we have an unlimited amount of it for the right uh, R2. This is one of the basic stalls. This is how we're going to be spending a lot of money. That's the Mecha Impulsor. It's um, pretty much a PA1 for your hovercraft. A Mecha Impulsor increases your vehicle's energy gauge by one wrench. But since we can't buy anything else, we, sh we should just go get in our hovercraft and get going. However, uh, the radio says there's going to be another attack, so we don't want to get off guard. We're just going to want to get home and be safe and 
be merry. We're not, we're not gonna get caught off guard. There's no reason why they, they warned us. No reason at all. They're attacking the boats! We have to protect them! You wanna start this boss fight out by taking a photograph of the boss? I must emphasize this. It's so easy to forget to take a photograph of this guy. It it just is, because your first initial thing to do is to start attacking him and kill him right away. But if you don't, you don't get $2,000 from him, and you don't get him for your uh, collection, which really sucks. In fact, you have to do that to all of the bosses, with the exception of being the first one. Now, for a boss strategy-wise, this guy's pretty simple. All you have to do is tail him and shoot him. And he'll drop mines, of course, but they aren't much of a problem. One or two shots uh, destroy the mines, and... Uh, five or six shots will destroy a section on his body. Uh, do that nine or uh, ten times on this guy and he goes down like a chump. Now if I could just get him, that would be awesome, now wouldn't it? This is my uh, one of my slower uh, times I've gotten on this boss. He gave me a lot more trouble this time around. He, he put a lot of mines in front of me and I shot the mines instead of him. And either way, still a pretty chump of a boss. Uh, collect the pearl. You automatically collect it when you uh, approach it with the boat. This is your second pearl in the game. And But with uh, that, guys, that brings us to an end to the first part of Beyond Good and Evil. I do hope to continue uh, parts for this playthrough. And until then, this has been the Habanero Gamer, signing out.